Hello guys, welcome to CS50 Problem Set 5 Speller Walkthrough Tutorial and Solutions. Today we're going to talk about the Speller programs, those sections, and the solutions. So for the Speller programs, we're going to type dot slash Speller text Lala Land dot text. So the Lala Land text here, so our program mixed with the dictionary words. So here are the results provided. So we got the misspelled words and the data of the word misspell, number of word misspell, the number of word in dictionary, text, and also the time for load, check, size, unload, and total. So for the speller program, there are uh, several files that makes there are make files dictionary.h, dictionary.c, and so on. But for here, we're gonna focus, which is our exercise, which is the dictionary.c, the load, hash, check, size, and unload. So for the loots, uh, there are loots. There are the five functions here. They each of them have their different functions. For here, you can see that the loots hash and size are the one who interact between the dictionary words and the hash func table. Next, the checks is the words interacts with the data lands and the dictionary words, which is already inside our hash tables. Then at last, we have to unload all the hash tables, which is the, mem the memory of the dictionary words out of our programs. So first you see the loads is basically just take the dictionary words and load into our hash tables. So the hash function is the one who determines the hash codes for each entry to the hash tables. Size is to return the number of size, number of words in dictionary if successful loaded. Checks is to check the words in between the Lala lands and the hash table, which is also the dictionary words, to check whether both of them are equal or else false. So at last, we have to remove the dictionary from the data structures once the entire document has been spelled checks. So for the loads functions, basically we have to take those words from the dictionary. So we have the F opens. Uh, do a while f scans uh, and related to the end of file then f close so from here you can see from the load functions here we have to f open the dictionary with the read here r so i checked for the if the file equal equals to now so it return false next we have to scan uh, each word so the words will be some kind of array here so you see child next words length plus one. So the length is 45. So plus one is because there's a backslash and also similar with the note here. So we create a while F scans here. So while F scans the file which is dictionary, so the person that asks and this is strings, the next words is not equal to the end of file. So every single word will go through the while loop f scan here. So we create a new node here. So with the malloc size of nodes, check whether is it a new node equal equals to noun, return false. Then string copies, for example, the words apples in the dictionary. We just can copy in uh, the source to the link list here, apples. So you see the new, new known arrow words is basically here. So we insert the apple into the hash. So for example, there's a number two here. So yeah, two here. So basically the new node arrow next is uh, pointing by the table hash value. So you notice that the, the color here is already imported to here. So the new node next is uh, imported the address from the data table hash value, which is two. So next is the hash table will point to the new node here. So that's how a link list form here. So you notice that the word count here use it will be used in the size. So every word we go through in the F scan here will add a count in the word count. So how about there's a new node in the same hash table bucket. So for example, we have another word called apple. 
So say we create a new node, check for the num, string copy to here, just now it's the apples, now it's apple. So we place into the hash two, so it means that they have to squeeze into the same bucket here. So what will happen in the new nodes, you, you notice that the new node next is pointing by the hash table. So the hash table is actually pointing to this link this here. So actually this point to because this one equals to this one, right? So you just point to this. So next the hash, the table hash value point to the new node. So you see here. So basically this line arrow here doesn't exist anymore. So you just squeeze in between these two. This will be this what will happen is every new node it will squeeze just in front of the hash table. So this is the hash functions. This is not the best hash function, but just for demonstration purpose. So just imagine that uh, I already declined upfront in the global value that n equals to one hundred thousand. So the hash table will be a one will have one hundred thousand buckets here. Around yeah. Oh, basically something like this, and okay by 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 actual fact it will be zero here. It will be like ninety nine something. So basically, just to let you see, there's a very long hash table bucket here. So this is our my hash functions. So not the best, just for demo purpose. So I just decline a long sign equal to zero, a for loop, uh, I less than string length words, I plus plus, the sum plus equals to lower. So for example, there's a two apples here, there's a capital here, we just go into the lower. So you plus every words in the decimal value. So for example, apples go to the lower case equals to 530, apples lower case 645. So this is like, for example, that's a word is larger than uh, 100,000. So we just do the remainder, go back to the same hash table into the link list. So <clears throat> yeah, for example, you put the apples here and apples into this hash table here. Hey, sorry, hash function say we return 530, 645. It means that the hash table here, the link list will link to for example, this block here, 530 and 645 to create a link list here. So this is the hash function. You just input a word here that create a index here. Okay. So for this size is basically just return number of words in dictionary if loaded, else zero if not loaded. So in the front there, I already declined an integer words count equal to zero. So every S can, every word here will add the counter one into this word count. So basically just put the word count here. So this is done here. So next is the checks. Checks is written true if words is in dictionary else false. Basically just compare the word in the la la land text, for example, apples with the dictionary words apples. So if they are equals, it return true, else false. So first, we have to find the hash value. So this is, so we just plug into the hash functions. For example, Apple return 530. So from here, we create a node here, an N node here, pointing to the hash value with 530, which is, since the table is pointing to the link list, so we direct point to here. So if we create a round loop, if n is not equal to num, so if string case words, which is the la la land words, equals to the n arrow words, so the la la, 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 la land words apples compare with the dictionary words apples, if they are equals to zero, equal equals to zero, return true. So it will break up from uh, this this function and return true. Else, we will just keep comparing to the next node and to the next node until we find to the last node. 
if the last node doesn't compare uh, doesn't consist apple you return false so this is the check functions here at last is the unloads unloads is unload the dictionary for memory returning true if successful else false so as you see the hash table there's a very long hash table here so we have to do a for loop here i less than n which is the 10 100,000 here i is plus plus so we create two nodes here so one node is the n is the time here so the n it will point to the for example the i is one okay so the i will point to the table here which is the link the list here so this one so the nan the time will point to the n which is point to the same node here same link link miss here so we create a while loop the while n not equal to num so the n equals to n arrow next so this one no more it will point to this one so there are now it's two and three three two and three so we free the temp so we free this one then the temp equals the n so this one no more so both is pointing to the the next node here so you just keep repeating until n is equals to num so the next node you will just point to the next one then free time here then this one point to the next one so once it's finished it will return true so that's it now we go to the my code here so you see i already do some checking for the yeah the checking yeah, check 50 so all completed I also run the la la land text so you can see misspell words and also yeah the number of words misspell dictionary text and the time for these five functions so let's take a look on the code here there are several functions that we need to include here okay so this one linked to the h here and this is the notes so the words and the next so this is a number of buckets here 100,000 100, so note table here so word count equal zero to count the number of dictionary so this is to check whether the la la land text with the dictionary text so yeah basically just put into the hash find the hash value go into pointing to the hash table link list compare with the words so then true break out on compare to the next link next else return false so this is the hash functions this case just add to convert those into the lower case and add all into add all the characters as key decimal if bigger than 100,000 take the remainder to create a link list to the same bucket list bucket yeah then loot is just to take the dictionary words load into our program hash hash table so f open check for f file equal equals a noun then create a words array while f scans file dictionary strings words not equals to end of file create a new node copy a new node find the hash value link the new nodes into the hash table then the hash table link to the new nodes add the counter of word count once it finish you will just f close it so the number of words just add this word count variable here so at last on loads basically just do a for loop towards the hash tables create two nodes one pointing to the, the closest link list so this one point to the same link list so the end will directly point to the next link list free the current link list so the temp will point to the next link list all right this is how we solve the speller so thanks for watching and see you next time